Hello, this is Dave Dunn and in this video you're going to see how to turn WooCommerce Add to Cart buttons into download access buttons for your customers who have purchased. So when selling digital products it is quite unlikely your customers are going to buy more than one version and after initial payment the actual product listing and buy now buttons for the products they have bought become kind of redundant. So by using the FastWoo download plugin you can turn your product listing pages into download pages or use the button to link to a protected download page or membership area. This is especially useful if you wish to simplify your site and create a smoother buying experience for your WooCommerce based customers. So what I'm going to do is walk you through this process and show you the plugin that actually makes this work. Now here we have an example of a small shop, it sells digital downloads, audio downloads and I'm going to do a test purchase of this particular product. So if we have a look at this page we can see it's basically an album, add to cat and uh, some demos. So when they come back to this page what I want to happen is that this add to cart button will turn into a download button and that could be a button to click directly and download the product or it could link to another page with the downloads on. So what I'm going to do is uh, add this to cart and we're going to basically check out. So while I go through this checkout process I'm just going to pause this video Okay, so I've filled out this form and now I'm about to make the purchase and I'm using Stripe in test mode. So what I'm going to do is just copy this Stripe test number, paste it in, add a date, a CV code and we're just going to place the order. And the order's been successful so the page is refreshed and we can see an order summary and basically a link to the product. So if I now click this link to the product, we can see the payment button, the buy now button, well the add to cart button has actually changed to access downloads. And if I click access downloads, I've been redirected to a page with the download links on to access. So that's quite simple and you can see it actually smooth, it creates a smoother experience for your customers whereas before they would have accessed this page maybe wondering where the downloads was and there'd still be a buy now button. So if we actually go into the back end of WordPress and show you how this works, you see here we have the product listing and if I go down you can see that when this downloadable button box is checked, which is a default WooCommerce feature, we actually have some extra options here so we can basically add in the download location and the download button text. So for example if I wanted this to be a direct download button I can just choose the text to be download now and then I will put the link here to the direct file to download. So that could be a file on uh, Amazon S3 or it could be a file hosted on your WordPress site somewhere. So if I update this, you can see the button text has changed, but obviously I hadn't I have not changed the link. Now we've had a good overview of how the download button works. If we go into our members area and go to my account, which is the default WooCommerce account page, what I've actually added here is a section where it shows your purchases. So this is the default WooCommerce area, and below this I've added this section. And what we've got here is a listing of all the products that they will purchase. Now this is added using a short code and then below this there's another short code that shows more products that they have not purchased. So if I quickly show you this on the editing side, we're going to edit the page with our page builder plugin, Beaver Builder. There'll be a link below this video to show you Beaver Builder, but basically we use this as our page builder and if we go into edit our purchases you can see there's a block here for editing the text and within that block there's actually a short code so this is a specific short code for the fastwood download plugin and it basically shows the purchases by adding a one here and then the number of products per page and the number of columns and the order etc and then below that is a similar short code which will show the purchases they have not got. Now there is another unique modifier we can add which is hidden. And this would show the hidden products that they have actually purchased. So if I put it in this shortcode, 
because sometimes you may want to list hidden products on your on your WooCommerce store as special offers that are, are not actually listed in the shop. And then obviously you want those specific products to appear here when they've purchased them. So hopefully this gives you a good overview of how the FastWoo download plugin works. If you have any questions about this or any of our other FastFlow plugins, feel free to reach out to me and I will see you on the inside of our website at some point.